I'm rooting for um, everybody black. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Bang on black tonight. Lovely. Do I have an idea? No. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me, Aisha, and today I'm here. Today I realized my battery is dying. Why is my battery dying already? Okay. All right. Hey guys, it's me, Aisha, and today I am here with another video. I today I'm going to do a full face of makeup with makeup from Black-owned companies. Yes, 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 yes. I don't know why, I just thought of this idea because um, I, I saw black owned companies on Ulta because you know Black History Month so now everybody wants to highlight black creators and black companies and stuff you know instead of year round doing it they'll do it for like this one month and I realized I didn't do a video for Black History Month but I kind of struggled with whether or not I wanted to and really it should be every day they really should every day black and native voices every single day so yeah uh but i did want to do this because it popped up in my ulta and it gave me the great idea to just do a video with black makeup with makeup from black owned companies which is great because honestly i've been looking for black owned hair companies i've been looking for black owned makeup companies and stuff black owned uh fashion lines i just i want all that stuff but yeah so today I am going to do full face of makeup with the items I got from Ulta. This is by no means like, this is all I got right now because I ran out of money. Like, <laughs> I wasn't, did I need this makeup? No. Did I want it? Yeah. 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 And also I got some hair care products, which this is just going to be only like video one. I'm going to continue to be, do videos like this because I want more stuff. I saw a lot of other items I wanted from other companies and I wasn't able to get things from every company I saw but I got like some stuff from some of the companies I saw so yeah let's get into this video so I went ahead and already did uh, my skincare already with moisturizer and sunscreen you know so let's go ahead and get in straight into the makeup and the only one out of all these products I've ever used before is Beauty Bakery, but I've never used these specific products from Beauty Bakery. I've used their, I think I only used their lipstick before and their, their powder, but that's it. I've never used any of their other products. Um, and I did not get a primer, so I'm just going to use the typical primer I use every day. And I'm not saying what it is, because... We're not promoting them today. Well, I have with me the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. Flower. Did I say it right? Flower Power. Flower Powder. Yeah. Beauty Bakery Flower. Flower Powder. And this is in brown. And this is a setting powder they have. I really like the one in yellow that they have, but I wanted to try the brown one. Um, I've tried the yellow before, it's really good. I like it. It sets very nicely, but I want to try the brown. So right now I'm just going to use a translucent powder I have before I start my makeup. This just kind of helps my makeup stay all day. Ready to set my face. I did not get a spray either. But for the items I didn't get, as you will see, I'm going to post alternatives that you can get. But like I said, I ran out of money because I am poor. So I'm gonna let that dry because I did get a stick foundation. So I'm gonna have to put this on my face. I have only used a stick foundation maybe once before. I have some, but I haven't used them, I don't think. 
I do for sure know I have at least one that I've used before. Um, I haven't used it much because it wasn't exactly my shade. So I haven't used it very much. But anyway, this is the stick foundation in... This is the minted stick foundation in... What color? M30. Yeah. M30. So let's just go ahead... That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice coloring. And all this stuff I got offline, so I wasn't able to like match it in the store or anything. I can't remember the last time I actually bought makeup in the store. So I'm just, I guess I just rubbed this all over my face. Cause this is what I would typically do with my makeup. I would just start my foundation first. So that's what I'm doing with this. I'm not sure if there's a different process for stick foundation. I did see people do like, when they use a stick foundation, they do like, they would their contour and they just do the stick foundation along with their contour. I don't wear that much contour, so I'm not doing that. So next I'm just going to that in. That's actually really nice. It's very light. I thought it'd be thick and kind of sticky like the other stick foundation I have. But it's not. It's very light. Get out of my face hair. Get off my face. It's a little more red than I would like, but I can fix it with some concealer. Also, I think Fenty's at Ulta now, from what I heard from Rihanna's uh, Instagram. Or it's about to be soon. Yeah, I think it's about to be soon because I don't remember seeing it when I was buying stuff. So next, I'm going in with this the Uma Beauty Stay Woke Brightening Concealer. And that's the packaging. This packaging is so cute. And this was the packaging for Minted, the Minted Foundation Stick. This is a one-ounce stick, I think. No, this is a 0.5-ounce stick foundation. And it's like a lipstick. This is the minted foundation. So that's what it uses. Is it focused? I really like that. It's really cute. It's like a jumbo lipstick. So let's try this concealer now. This is the Uma. This looks so familiar. Maybe I'm, I think I'm thinking of another concealer that has like a similar packaging that I have somewhere. And I got this in brown sugar. And this is the applicator. So I'm just gonna... I like the coloring. It's not too light, not too dark. So I like to do my face makeup before I do my eyeshadow. I just, whenever I try to do my eyeshadow first, I end up messing it up when I do my face. So I don't see how people can do that because I'm just not that neat. I'm not. And along with this concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and do contour just a little bit because I don't like to do a lot of contour. And but as always, I'm going to use my Fenty Trio. And I'm just going to use the espresso stick from this for now. I mean, I don't see my forehead. I have bangs, so. 
do a little bit down there. And let me get a brush. Because I'm never prepared. I'm just going to go ahead and put that in. I found that if I use a sponge, it takes too much of it away. I don't know about this particular one, but I'm just saying like concealer in general, general when I put it under my eye. When I use a sponge, it seems to take too much of it away. And then I'm going to use another brush for this contour. And like I said, don't worry because I will do another video getting more of the products that I was not able to get this time. Set it just a skosh, just a little bit, just a little bit. So I'm using the skill of powder. I thought this was a black on brand, it is not, so I'm not highlighting this company either. Because they fooled me, they are not black on brand. At the end of this video, I will tell you about some black owned brands that I thought were black owned brands that weren't black owned brands. So that you don't get fooled either. So whenever, I don't really like to bake. I kind of just, because it, I don't know, it causes like flashback and stuff like that when you take pictures and stuff and I really don't like that. So I just kind of tap it in a little bit just to set and then wipe away the excess. I don't let it sit or anything like that. Just kind of set it and then wipe it away. So I am now going to set my face with the flower powder. I keep wanting to say flower power. It's flower powder in brown. I need a smaller brush to get in here. I need a smaller. Okay, I'm going to try. It's just a little too big for this. I'm going to. And I'm just going to use this to set the rest of my face. I'm trying to take out all that excess. I don't want too much. And this will keep my face from being... So I have very oily skin. Which is great to help prevent wrinkles. That uh, if you actually want your makeup to stay on your face. So we're off to a good start so far. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Okay. So next, I did not get an eyebrow pencil. It was just a little too expensive for what I wanted at the time. I think it was like 20 bucks and I could not put that at the moment. So, and also I just, yeah, I couldn't do it at the time. So. Alright, so ignore this. You don't need to look at this. My eyebrows take the longest time for no reason. Like why? Why? Why take so long? To do what I want you to do. And they're not the same. Out <laughs> of done, ignore them. It's not what we're here for. So let's go ahead and get started on the eyes. Maybe I missed it, but I did not see an eyeshadow base. So I'm gonna use what I have and try to see if I can find an alternative to post. Do I have an idea? No. I just be coming here and sitting down on this camera. Okay, so oh, let me show you inside the packaging. This is a patch packaging by Uma. And this is the Allure palette, I guess? Or is it the Black Magic palette? I think it's, I, I don't know. I guess it's the Black Magic palette. And this is the actual palette itself. And then it has Allure on the back of it. It's really cool, I really like it. And this, it has a mirror that's really cute. Oh, sorry. 
It has a mirror. And it comes with this cover. And this is the eyeshadow. This is the eyeshadow palette. Very nice colors. A mix of matte and glitter shades. So yeah, let's see what we're gonna do because I have no idea. I'm just here for the ride. So the shadow will pop a bit more. I guess let me, I'm gonna swatch it on my arm too. I don't typically swatch eyeshadow palettes, um, but I'll swatch this on my arm. Okay, so here are the colors. And we are going to figure out what we want to do with them together. So what I'm going to blend out this base of it. So I'm going to go in with love. That seems like the more sensible transition. goes. So I put love on already. Now I'm going to go lush, which is this matte green. Just under that. And this pointed brush is good for that. Enchantress apply very nicely. Like it's not spotty or patchy at all. It's just like it went exactly where it was supposed to go. Nice. I am gonna bring that green down. with the glitter which is very nice and not typical who y'all is applying like really good gold very nice I really like this eyeshadow palette I'm so glad I got this one it was between this one and another one that was full of other colors like pinks and stuff I'm glad I got this one though it took me a little minute to decide which one I wanted. Alright, so that was the eyeshadow palette. I am going to now use this Black Opal Precision Eye Definer Crayon. This is the packaging. Y'all see my turtle? Mmm, that's nice. 
just like why the hell? No tugging whatsoever. That's an air thing. So this is packaging. Focus. There we go. And then these are the lashes. Focus. There we go. Those are the lashes. And I bought these. Even though I just bought a lot of other lashes, but I bought these because black owned. But I did buy like nine pairs of other lashes before I bought these. I know the thing right now is everybody get their lashes done. I don't see me ever doing that. Honestly, ever. Like, my eyes start watering if I accidentally put sunscreen a little too close to them. I'm not. Can you imagine if I put chemicals on them? That would be horrific. I'd probably go blind. I would be the one to go blind. That looks very nice and looks very easy to put on. Hopefully the second one is just as kind to me as the first one was. And I swear I feel like I've used these before. Like I think they came in like a boxy charm or something before. Not these exactly, but some before. Like some of their lashes. Another like kind. I haven't had boxy charm in years. But I'm pretty sure tried their lashes before and I really liked them before too because I remember the name because I didn't know if it was beaut or beauty beauty in a different spelling but yeah I like it okay okay what else am I doing so next I typically do powder and this is really cute this is beauty bakery as well and this is a neapolitan bar when i was a kid i used to call this napoleon like napoleon ice cream but it's neapolitan and this is neapolitan face palette the little plastic sleeve just fell out so it does come with a plastic sleeve and this is what it looks like So these two are matte, the two on the end are matte, the pink and the brown, and the middle is highlighter, glittery highlighter. So I am going to actually use that brown as well, just to try it. I don't typically use a powder, uh, contour, but I'm going to try it just because it's here. Why not? Let's see what it see what it's talking about that is very pigmented okay I don't know if you can see it on my hand because it's like the same color as my skin cute is very close to the same color as my skin but yeah it's very pigmented um, I'm gonna try it though you probably won't show up <laughs> it's like this is not for you what are you doing? Yeah, it's not showing up. Not really. <laughs> I tried. So, I'm going with this pink. The blush. 
let's see what that's what it looks like on a brush they're very thick and I can like just dab it in and do a little more a little dab of do you very pigmented as well So for the lips, I went a little overboard because like I said, I like lip products and I get a little too much. So, and obviously I can't use them all today. So I got these two from, where did I get these two from? Beauty Bakery. <laughs> got these two from Beauty Bakery. And they're called cake pops one is in cashmere no no what is it? one is in peanut butter peanut butter luster and cinnamon churro 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 I'm not, I won't do that again churro churro cinnamon churro oh that's cute so that is the packaging. It's super cute. Aww. It's like cardboard. Do that. And these are mini lipsticks, as you can tell. And this is Cinnamon Chero. Super cute. I love that. Like a pinkish cardboard packaging. really cute. Let me go ahead and swatch them. So this is peanut butter luster. Very creamy. Yeah. And that is cinnamon churro. And I got other lip stuff. I got a lip gloss and a lip pencil and another lipstick. All from minted. So these are all the minted products. This it is their packaging. This is the minted lipstick, and this is in Nude Lala semi matte lipstick. And that's the minted lipsticks. This is a full size lipstick. This is Nude Lala. Again, a very creamy nude. Nude Lala. Very nice. This is the lip gloss from Minted. And it's a shade. This is the shade, I don't know, Mauve Over, Mauve Over is the shade, like move over but mauve, and that is the lip gloss, and then lippy pencil by Minted. And this is Minted Night Lip Pencil. I did a little too rough. It's very creamy. 
And that is the shade right there. Mmm, that's nice. As you can imagine, brown lip pencils don't typically show up well on my lips. But this one. The Beauty Bakery one in peanut butter. Peanut butter luster. So I've tried different brands. And I am going to use the lip gloss as well. I'm gonna add some little extra, cause why not be extra? Uh, yeah, I like it. This is very 70s, my favorite fashion air. Get the makeup. I love it. I love it. I love everything I tried today. Took off the necklace, put on the earrings to match the makeup. I love it. I love it. It's very 70s. My favorite, favorite era for fashion. So one that I thought was black owned but is not and never has been is Black Radiance. Oddly enough, it is not black owned. Not a black owned company. I'm sure most of you know that, what is it? it is Shea Moisture is no longer black owned. I used to really like their stuff before they sold the company. It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> oh my god. I guess I'll name off like the most popular as of the last 10 years or so. So African Pride, Dark and Lovely, Soft and Beautiful, Beautiful Textures, TCB Naturals, Africa's Best, Aunt Jackie's, Do Grow, uh, Blue Magic, African Gold, um, Sulfur 8, Cantu, Carol's Daughter, Shea Moisture, Less Jam, Main Choice. There's a lot that are not black owned. Yeah, Cream of Nature, Dark and Lovely, Dr. Miracles, Less Jam, Main and Tail, TCB, Apogee, Sulfur 8, Eco Style, Carol's Daughter, Shea Moisture, yeah. Yeah. And that's hair care stuff. And. Let's talk about some black owned brands that are still black owned. Camille Rose, Miley Organics, Alec Naturals, Miss Jessie's, Natural Licious, Sultanicals, Uncle Funkies, Pattern Beauty, Curls, Design Essentials, Kaleidoscope, TCGIN, I'm sorry, TGIN, Aunt Jackie's, um, Luster's Pink. And there are many more actually because I found a bunch on Ulta and I actually purchased this melanin focus bro oh my god can you focus focus this is melanin uh, leave-in conditioner multi-use softening uh, with nourishing and boa oil boa bab boa bab oil turnip root Pro vitamin B5 and this is Whitney's brand or as many of you know natural 85 it's her brand 
and it's really really good I use it for the first time today to moisturize my hair and it immediately made my hair really soft it's so good so 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 good and that's very hard for my hair because um, I have 4C hair very kinky very it's difficult to work with it's pretty difficult to work with it gets very dry especially after washing it I washed it a few days ago and it takes days usually to for it to re-moisturize for that moisture to build back up it I usually have to moisturize it over the course of a few days for it to fill moisturize and that it's not good um so yeah I mean but I use this today and it was like instantaneous it was just as soon as I put it on it was like melted into my hair and it's very very soft and moisturized I will probably use the do a video of me using this and styling my hair and stuff and I plan to get more there are a few other things I want to get from there Ooh, that's pretty good on this up. and it smells really good it smells like a light peppermint scent and it's very very soft very very creamy I love it so I'm so glad I got it I was kind of nervous because I'm always nervous to try new things on my hair because they don't typically work out and then I just end up with more stuff under my counter that I need to throw away but I'm glad this worked out very very glad and it was actually reasonably priced and this is 16 ounces I'll put the price on the screen because I don't remember but it was it was pretty reasonable for not what I remember it wasn't like crazy or anything but yeah there are several other things I want to try from this line and from others I saw um, but like I said I get some more money so next time but very glad I got this um, I wanted to at least get one thing from there and I did anyway I uh, hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching please don't forget to like comment subscribe and Seriously, drop down below like some names of like black owned hair companies uh, and other makeup and hair care lines and stuff that are actually black owned and also fashion lines and stuff. Also check out Media. I'm gonna put the the web name, it's a website, they also have an app. I'm gonna put it on the screen. Media, yeah. Check out them, also follow them on Instagram and Twitter. They are doing great things. It's like a black owned uh, black owned Etsy for black companies people selling and buying stuff so support them as well doing big things it's great so yeah let's all support and help each other and help black people support black people and native people as well and yeah um, that is it hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching oh my favorite makeup item that I got. I would say my favorite from everything I've bought today is either the eyeshadow palette or the eyelashes. I don't know. I really like them both a lot. I really like them both. So yeah, anyway, that is it i hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye i gotta do my nails <laughs>